And if you look at snakes, they're doing today pretty much what they did a few million years ago, whereas we're not. We're not even doing the same thing as we did a hundred years ago. In your book, Innovation is the State of Mind, you, you mentioned that innovation is the driving force betw- behind, what was it, innovation is the driving force that has driven human progress. Tell us a little bit well, about it that. Is. I mean, if you look at snakes, they're doing today pretty much what they did a few million years ago, whereas we're not. We're not even doing the same thing as we did 100 years ago or, to an extent, 10 years ago. Everything, if you look around wherever you are now, everything that isn't uh, natural, like a plant, is a result of human innovation. This cup, some point someone said, I'm sick of drinking out of the stream with my hands, I'm going to find a receptacle. Uh, my glasses are a result of human innovation. This speaker, uh, it's, it's, it's our point of difference as a species, and it's enabled us overall to live the safe and comfortable lives. Of course, there are exceptions to that, but but many of us live safer and more comfortable lives than, than people have 100, 200, 300 years ago, and that's essentially because of innovation. It's a continual thing that's continually happening. I know it's tempting to think, wow, we're in 2021 and isn't everything amazing. But in a couple of years time, a lot of what we think is cutting edge today will be obsolete. And that's exciting, but it's also a bit scary for organizations because 100 or 200 years ago, you could say, yeah, I I make shoes and I just do it how my dad or my mum taught me to. And I'm going to teach my kids how to do it. That'd be fine. Can't do that today. You always got to be thinking of new, better ways of doing things.